In the summer of 2009, Linda Chin, a 32-year-old Swedish woman disappeared without a sign. This is one of Sweden's most mysterious cold cases. About 25,000 people go missing in Sweden every year, and Linda's disappearance added to the frightening number. Even though law officials and the community have tried very hard, they still do not know what happened to Linda Chin. Hi and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, as it helps us motivate to create more intriguing content for you. Let's have a look at the case of Linda Chin. Linda Chin was born in China in 1977. When she was 15, she went to Sweden. When Linda was in a refugee center waiting for her family to arrive, she became close with Ida Johansson, who became like a mother to her. Linda was known as someone who cared a lot about fashion and music. She took pride in how she looked and liked doing things like singing karaoke. As an adult, Linda had several relationships that did not work out, and one of them led to the birth of her son. Unfortunately, her first partner beat her up so badly that he was charged with trying to kill her. Linda married twice more, but neither marriage lasted. In the spring of 2008, Linda started dating Mats Alm, a guy she met on an online dating site. They got engaged soon after their first date and started a fast-paced relationship. Linda helped Mats with money, sending him money to help pay off his bills and even paying for their wedding. She also set up a trust fund for her son. Until he turned 18, Mats was in charge of the money in the fund. On August 5th, 2009, Linda Chin mysteriously she had just finished her shift as a waitress and returned home, where she informed Mats that she had plans to meet a friend later that night. Little did they know that this would be the last time they would see each other. Before Linda left her apartment, she and Mats decided to go shopping at a local store together. The surveillance cameras at the store captured this outing, offering tangible evidence of Linda's presence at that time. It serves as a crucial reference point in the investigation, providing a concrete timeline of her activities before her disappearance. After their shopping trip, Linda and Mats embarked on a drive lasting approximately two and a half hours. Their purpose was to scout out potential places to visit for Linda's family, who were scheduled to attend their wedding. This drive signifies the couple's anticipation and excitement for the upcoming celebration, demonstrating their commitment to ensuring a memorable experience for their loved ones. After returning home, Linda and Mats shared a meal together, savoring their time and enjoying each other's company. Following dinner, Linda began preparing for her night out, likely eager to meet her friend as planned. The details surrounding this friend and the purpose of their meeting remain unknown, leaving a void in the narrative of Linda's final hours. At 9 p.m., Linda left her apartment, bidding farewell to Mats. Little did they realize that it would be their last interaction. The circumstances surrounding Linda's departure and subsequent encounter with her friend remain shrouded in mystery, as no further sightings or evidence have come to light. The police investigation became suspicious when no witnesses could confirm Matt's version of events regarding Linda's movements after she left their apartment. Despite inquiries, no one could confirm seeing the couple return home from the supermarket or witness Linda leaving her house at 9 p.m. This discrepancy in eyewitness testimony deepened the mystery surrounding Linda's disappearance. Linda's family, in particular, found it odd that Matt's claimed Linda did not change her clothes before going out as she typically enjoyed dressing up for social outings. Linda had a strong interest in fashion, and her friends and family considered it unusual that she appeared less interested in her appearance on the night she vanished. These inconsistencies further fueled speculation and cast doubt on Matt's version of events. Investigators and Linda's loved ones questioned the accuracy and credibility of Matt's statements, wondering if he might be withholding crucial information or potentially involved in her disappearance. As the investigation continued, the police sought additional leads and evidence to uncover the truth behind Linda's vanishing. The focus shifted to gathering more information about Matt's background, relationships, and possible motives, hoping to find any clues that could shed light on Linda's fate. The authorities also intensified their efforts to locate potential witnesses who might have seen or interacted with Linda on the night she went missing. Despite these diligent efforts, the case remained perplexing and no concrete answers emerged. The investigation into Linda Chen's disappearance became one of Sweden's enduring unsolved mysteries, leaving her family and friends desperate for closure and justice. 
as the police started their investigation, they became more and more sure that Matt's was involved. No one saw the couple come home from their shopping trip, and no one saw them on their long drive either. There were differences between what Matt's said and what the records at their wedding reception spot said, which made the mystery even bigger. Even though a lot of people looked for Linda, no one was able to find out where she was or what happened to her. In the midst of Linda's unresolved case, the alarming events surrounding Matt's alm continued to unfold, deepening the mystery and raising further questions for investigators. As news of Matt's suicide attempt spread, it sparked speculation about a potential connection between his actions and Linda's disappearance. The timing of Matt's desperate act, occurring on the same day he was scheduled for a police interview, raised eyebrows and intensified suspicions. Investigators delved into his mental state, attempting to understand the possible correlation between his suicide attempt and Linda's vanishing. Was Matt's overwhelmed by guilt or hiding a dark secret that pushed him to the brink? While Matt's remained in critical condition at the hospital, authorities faced a dilemma. They grappled with the possibility that Matt's suicide attempt was not only a manifestation of personal despair but also an attempt to evade or divert attention from his involvement in Linda's mysterious case. The police meticulously analyzed the circumstances leading up to Matt's suicide attempt, seeking any clues that could shed light on Linda's disappearance. They questioned his acquaintances, reviewed his past interactions, and explored any potential motives for foul play. However, Despite their efforts, the investigation hit a dead end. Matt's critical condition hindered any immediate interrogation or clarification of his involvement. The unanswered questions surrounding his suicide attempt, combined with Linda's inexplicable vanishing, formed a web of uncertainty and intrigue that continued to perplex both the authorities and the public. During his healing, Matt said that he could not remember what happened before Linda went missing. He claimed that he was innocent and had nothing to do with her going missing. But since there was not any hard proof or leads that pointed to other possible suspects, the investigation stayed focused on Matt's. Due to whispers and speculation, people in the community began to think that Matt's was the main suspect. Online conversations and media coverage made people look even closer, which made people angry and make them want justice. People held vigils and protests in Linda's name to ask the officials to solve the case and give her family closure. Even though the heat was building, the investigation led nowhere. The police had a hard time making any real progress because they did not have any physical proof, witnesses, or good leads. Linda Chin seemed to have disappeared into thin air, leaving investigators and the general public with no idea what happened. Over the years, the media stopped talking about the case as much, but Linda's family and friends and people who are interested in unsolved riddles never forgot about it. The community continued to feel a deep sense of loss and anger because they did not know why she had gone missing. The loss of Linda Chin is still one of Sweden's most mysterious and puzzling cold cases. Even though there have been a lot of studies, no one knows where Linda is or why she disappeared. The fact that Linda's then fiance, Matt Salm, was a suspect made the story even more interesting. But since there's no solid proof linking him to Linda Chen's disappearance, and his suicide attempt erased any possible memories. The truth about what happened to her is still hard to find. As time goes on, Linda's case still has people hoping for an answer and an end. It acts as a reminder of the many unsolved mysteries that continue to haunt communities around the world and the long-lasting effects they have on the lives of the people left behind. What do you think of this case? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do like this video and subscribe to our channel for such mysterious cases. Thanks for watching.